guys after doing the dealing with the ego video i felt like although i've touched it on it with my previous videos i think i need to clarify a couple things first of all let's talk about feelings i've used feelings back and forth but i don't i think i need to really go into this a little bit more there are two kinds of feelings there are emotional feelings and there are instinctual or gut feelings, okay? Both of these types of feelings are uh, important to get to 5D. As a general rule, and don't, call, don't text me and write to me and say that's not me, I'm saying as a general rule, big picture, seven billion people on the planet, most of the time, women are better at emotional feelings and men are better at the gut instinct feelings. Both are important here. Emotional feelings are, think of them as like, uh, they should be used very quickly. You should not stay in them. And they're more like a compass. So if you have an emotional feeling of feeling good, then that's telling you you're going up in vibration. If you have an emotional feeling feeling bad, then you're going down in my vibration. If you are kind of eh, then you're probably going sideways. And then there's infinite ways that you can go around that compass. So you can do less good, and you're kind of going a little bit up, but kind of eh. You see what I'm saying? Infinite options in this, just like a compass. And that's how you use emotional feelings. Everybody needs to be able to do this. You need to be able to know emotionally what you're feeling at all times. It is your way home. It is your compass home, okay? The other kind is instinctual feelings, gut knowingness, okay? This you don't even stay in for, it's almost immediate. That when you have a knowingness, a gut feeling in something, you just follow it instinctually. So you use the emotional feelings to know if you're going the right direction. Then you follow those gut instincts to do whatever it is that you are led to do. Okay. Using those two versions of feelings will get you to 5D. Both are important. One, the emotional feelings, you do have to use your brain, your mind a little bit. But remember, the sooner you can figure out what that compass is saying, the better. So preferably in less than five seconds. Do not mull it over. Do not analyze it. Do not, do not, do not. Now, especially with women, uh, women have been taught that emotions are bad. Well, everybody's taught that emotions are bad. So what happens is people have an emotional feeling and then they'll stop and analyze it. Well, am I being nuts? Is, am I, am I uh, being over emotional? Am I being dramatic for no reason? Don't do any of that. Just Analyze the emotion, go with it, and just say, okay, my emotion is this. I'm not going to question it. That means I'm going in this direction. Okay, I'm going to continue on. I'm going up. Up, I'm going down. Got to change it. Don't overly think it. Just see what it is. Take your mind that far, and that's it. That's it. Then once you've got headed in the next direction, then you're going to use that instinctual feelings, those gut instincts, to walk your way through life, moment to moment, in the now. Both types are important. You must be able to do both. Okay. You must be able to do both well. So they're not one is better than the other. They're both important in this process. Now, eventually, uh, the emotional one will drop away because you'll start speeding to 5d. The gut instinct will become much faster, much faster. The more you keep your head out of it, the faster you'll move. Okay. Second thing that I want to talk about is when I was talking about the ego. And I think I've touched on this in other videos, but I'm going to go through it again. Uh, the reason why I didn't put in a lot of play in it is because for me and Stephanie personally, we have attached very little to our ego and to our body. Stephanie, because she's never had amnesia, me pretty much dropped off after I died. It's really easy to convince the ego and the body that I'm right when consciously they were with me when I died and saw everything. Stephanie, very easy to take her body in ego with her when she's not in amnesia. So I didn't really heavily cover this. But for those of you that have been in deep amnesia, you must first of all 
you must first of all integrate if you're going towards oneness you have to create oneness in yourself first so that means bring uh, ego and the consciousness of the human body and your star seedism or the entity that is embodying this body all together they've got to be merged together okay now in reality kind of like the compass there are many, many other bodies. I think new age people, they talk about the pain body, the emotional body, the yada, yada, yada. In reality, there are infinite levels. But if you cover what you believe is the ego, the body, and your entity that inhabits the body, that will cover enough of those layers that you can integrate them all very quickly. But you must integrate them. You must combine. They must come together. That's your first stage in heading towards oneness is to integrate yourself into one by accepting all parts of you and understanding that they're all you and they're all important and they're all uh, aspects of you that that are valid okay you don't get rid of anybody you integrate them all and then you start integrating other vibrations and other beings by looking at things and they've said this forever and ever to look at the the world around you and say I am that, I am that, I am that, and really know that, feel that. And you're going to do that. I think it's pretty easy for most star seeds to do that with nature, uh, even with inanimate objects. It's a, more of a struggle with other humans that are, you know, can feel destructive. So I wouldn't worry a great deal about it with, with nature. That will come normally, naturally to you. But you're going to have to reach out. And you're going to have to see that other human as an aspect of you. And you are that too. So that is the reason why you have to accept the ones that have hurt you. You have to. No judgment. No attachment. You just need to look at them as game players. And they are you. They are another aspect of you in the oneness game. In the, in the perspective that all is one. Okay? Does that make sense? All right, guys. Well, hopefully this one will... Uh, Help this is definitely a YouTube video because it's more on the what you should do at the very beginning. All right. <laughs> okay, guys. I love you so much. Huge hugs, and I'll talk to you later. Bye now.